Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to var uh, validate a response data. Okay. See in this and in the previous my video I explained like a how to uh, generate for the code Python code into a, a postman and how we can able to reuse here. Okay, please go through that also. Then you can able to come to here. You can able to easily do, do, like do for some code is faster than comparing to others. Okay. Now first one is I need to verify first for response status. A response dot status code equal to equal to 200. Then I need to pass my test case. Then print. A response dot text otherwise fail I else print a fail okay now this is my verification for status code can able to see it is fail. Oh, sorry. I mentioned 20. There is no status related to 20, right? Now my status code is working. Then I have some values. Okay. Now how we can able to verify a response inside the data is that there is an ID is there. How to print that particular of value of that okay and now here we can able to verify r equal to a response dot json because we need to get it for json value then a value equal to r dot get we can able to mention single quotation id okay now print a value whether it is coming or not we'll see now here yes it is coming 108 then we can able to verify if condition the uh, coming value and we are verifying value both are equal or not then if it is equal then we can able to pass otherwise it is fair like that we can able to mention if value equals one at eight, then print value. Otherwise, else print or fail. Even we can able to print and we can able to verify. Now it is printing because it is verifying the properly. And even we can able to verify if the response dot headers and the content type, what exactly the content type it is displaying. Based upon that also we can able to verify our test case. Uh, we can able to see a print. And I'm going to use for response dot headers and I need to use for content underscore type whether this particular name it is presented or not we'll see uh, the format of that it is a uh, wrong uh, we need to specify some proper uh, naming then only it will print it properly otherwise it will not print and you need to search and we need to see for that uh, uh, headers content and the application type what exactly application type it is presented based upon that we can able to uh, do it for our code representation okay now method also 
the wrong format case in uh, then we can able to use a proper naming convention for that it is getting okay I'll update this one into a later video session how we can able to verify our headers okay then based upon that we can able to go ahead and see verification okay that's all about this video I hope you enjoyed this one if you like this show please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you